Let's deploy an SDDC in VMware Cloud on AWS using the M7i disaggregated instance type. There will be a new option to select the M7i 24XL diskless host type. This host type doesn't include local NVMe devices for vSAN like other host options. Once deployed, let's check out the storage tab in the Cloud Console. There are no workload data stores configured just yet. In this example, we'll set up Amazon FSx for NetApp on tap. We start in the AWS console. We see the created file system, its availability zone, and the created flexful volume. In the VPC dashboard, we need to check out the new VPC peering options and the route tables to ensure connectivity over the configured VPC peering to avoid cross-AZ charges. The management IP range and security groups are all set up correctly to allow NFS traffic only. By this point, we can go ahead and mount our external NFS data stores using the Cloud Console. It's easy as clicking Add Data Store and providing the required details like the NFS server address, storage vendor, data store name, and hit Add Data Store. You'll see attaching the data store is in progress. Once attached, the data store is connected to all the hosts in the chosen cluster. It's easy and straightforward to configure, and the NFS data store will show up in the vSphere client like any other regular data store. Here you see an example of the default provision management data store and a workload data store. We are now ready to host workloads. So let's create a virtual machine and select the appropriate data store. Customers won't have access to create VMs on the management data store as that is reserved for the management plane like vCenter and NSX. We'll configure the VM with the latest VM hardware version 20 to support offloads like Intel AMX, which is available on the Intel CPU used for the M7 instance. This allows for performance enhancements running AIML workloads, for instance. Once configured and powered on, we'll verify that AMX instructions are available and exposed to the guest OS running inside the VM. And that's it easy and fast as you are used to with VMware Cloud on AWS. Check out this link for more information.